Hello everyone, welcome to another exhilarating episode of Excel Tutorials. You're with Alexander Wong today, and today we'll be learning about how to use the index match and the offset match function. So what exactly is index function? So the index function is essentially a tool you want to use when you want Excel to return you a specific value in a data set. What you need for this is the row number and the column number. So for example, if I want to find burger, in group one, then I need to tell Excel that burger is in row number one, two, and in column number one, two of this entire array. So let's try it for dim sum. What I need, first put an index, then select the entire array, and then you give it the row number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So dim sum is in row number nine, and it's in column number one, two, because we're looking for group one. So that's column number two. And then for T, T is three under dim sum. So that is 10, 11, 12 equals index. Select the array, row number 12, and column number one, two, three, four, because we're looking for group three, four, group number, column number four. And is that correct? It is indeed. So that's how you use index, basically feed it the row and the column number, as well as the table from which you're counting these rows and columns. Now moving on to match. So what match does essentially is it helps you find out in which row or in which column that you will find uh, what you're looking for. So for example, milkshake. We already know it's in column one, but which row is it in? So in order to find that out, let's use the match function. We're looking up the milkshake and the lookup array, select the column. Might feel a little weird. You're looking for the row, you gotta select the column, okay? And match type, usually just put in zero to be sure. Excel's default should be zero, but sometimes it messes that up. Um, we don't really use one or negative one that much to find greater than or equal to value. It's not extremely helpful for most daily operations, right? So here you have milkshake is in row six and that's one, two, three, four, five, six right here. So for location five, we know it's in the first row. Uh, let's take a look at which column it is in. So let's do the same thing, match. Look at value location five, then this array, and done. Or put in the zero if you want. And that is in column number six. So you kind of already see how this can fit together. Index needs a row and a column number. Match helps you find that column and the row number. One thing very important to note is that when you put in a match function, it can only be either in one column or in one row, okay? You cannot, you cannot make this, say, two rows. That does not work. It has to be in that one, okay? So now, for index match. Let's see how we can do this. Um, before we do anything, I always like to put out the variables in a cell. So we're in the year 2000, and then Saskatchewan, the short form for that would be SK. And then let's use index. So our array is this entire table. Our row number will be done using the match function. We're looking up the value 2000 in the year 2000, right? So the array would be in this column. So we want Excel to return to us which row is 2000 in. Okay, match type zero. And then another match for lookup value SK. Lookup array will be the top row here. And the match type another zero. Okay, so let's find if that is correct. Yes, indeed it is. 2000 SK. All right. So next up we have create a small box. So you kind of see that I already did that. 
It's not exactly a box yet, but it might as well be. Um, the reason for that is if I want to look for another year, if your boss tells you to look for something in another year, you can simply change this and it can do the work for you, right? So just put in year, put in um, province, and then put in sales. If you want, you can make this box look kind of fancy as well. I kind of want to do that, so here it is. You can color code it even. Right, not the prettiest, but it works. So, actually, it's pretty ugly. Okay, so, um, let's try. Using the box, find the sales for 2010 PE. So, let's put in the year 2010. Let's put in PE. And then I'm just going to write a new formula in here. So, that would be index, the array. So select the entire table. Row number. Row number is, first of all, go with match. Look at value. What are we looking up? We're looking up the year in this column. Okay. And then onwards to the column. We're looking up the, this province in the lookup array here. Right? And there you have it, 382. Okay, so highlight, so it's kind of, it's kind of hard to, oh, <laughs> I already did it. Okay, let me just clear the formatting for this, or for this entire table. Right, so it's kind of hard to see now. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see um, how, which number this is if you want to double check it. So what we want to do is use a conditional formatting tool and then um, go to highlight cell rules, press equal to, so cell value equal to this, then format it with a certain color like this, press OK. Whoops, I'm supposed to select this area. Let's do it one more time. Conditional highlighting, highlight cell rules, equal to this. What do you want to do? Red border, sure. Let's just go with red border for now. Okay, so you can see that there. All right, that's conditional formatting for you. Um, right, and then I can do this later. I will do this after I finish offset and offset match. So we can create a table and um, drag it, basically. Okay. So let's jump into what offset is first. What is offset? Offset is very similar to index. Essentially, instead of saying this is my this is my table, I want you to um, I want you to just tell me the row and the column number. Offset is give me a point. I will go down by how many rows and go across by how many columns and find what you need, right? So for example, let's do the same thing, SK2000, and then go with offset. Um, oh, right, so offset, the reference is here, and rows, so because we're looking for 2000, we can count down, one, um, we don't count the first one. If we write one in the row, Excel is already go down by one row, right? So 1995 is row one, okay? Row one, two, three, four, five, six. So we want Excel to go down by six rows, by six rows, and column. So SK, that is one, column one. Okay, this one doesn't count because one already makes it move by one column. One two, three, four, five, six. Right. So once again, you kind of get the idea how offset works, right? You can also do it in the negative. So for example, if we want to do it based on cell B33, 
So let's have another offset. Reference is cell B33. And then we're looking for 2010. So now we're going down here by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? And then for columns, we want which one? I think it was PE. Let's, let's do Ontario. I'm too lazy to count this. So by 1, right? So there you have that. But we can also do it in the negative. Say if we want to find 1999, we can go negative 1, right? So that would be here, okay? So negative for things above, positive for things underneath, positive for things on the right, negative for things on the left, all right? So let's go to offset match. Um, again, very similar. You can just create a little table if you want. And then we're looking for the year 2007. Um, province is PE, Prince Edward Islands, and the sales. Okay, so let's go with offset, reference, rows. Okay, so remember when you do the match for this that because this is already one, and match is going to give you at least one, right? So you want to start from this. If you start from here, if you start from this cell, everything is going to be shifted one downwards, okay? Because offset, if you move one, it's moving down by one row. So the minimum is already moving, okay? So just be sure um, you don't make that mistake. And so just drag down here. And then match for the column. Here's your array. And a zero just to be sure. All right, there you have it. Right. So that is offset match, and let's move back to the index match. Basically, if your boss is telling you to make a table with the value of BC, Alberta, Manitoba from these years. So I'm just going to do this really quickly. Alberta, Manitoba, and that is 1999, 2000, 2001. 2002 million and two, no, 2003 and 2004. Right, so this is not too difficult. Essentially, we just want something we can drag, okay? That's the main thing. So think of this as your given box that we've made here, right? So we can, with index, the array is down here. And then let's do a match. Look at value. This lookup array is in here in this column. And match type, let's put in a zero. And then match for look at value here. Lookup array here. So in index, you your match can be, should be, actually, the entire extent of your table, okay? And, whoops, I did that too soon. Okay, so look at value is here, BC. Right, now we have a formula for it, but we can't drag it. So what do we need? We need absolute references. Absolute references are our tools, our dollar signs, that help you um, tell Excel that when you drag something, a certain cells should not be moving. For example, if I drag this down right now, this is going to keep moving down, but also this reference to BC is going to keep moving down. We don't want that. So first of all, BC shouldn't be moving down. Now where do we do that? So the column, um, this, this row here should always be in row 14. Okay, it should always be in row 14. 
So what we need to do is put a dollar sign in front of 14 and not in front of the column because we want the column to switch when we change, when we drag it across, but we don't want it to change when we drag it downwards. So with 1999, we want to do the opposite. We want the row to change, but the column not to change. So we're going to put, um, we're going to put a dollar sign next to the column J. And there we have a, oh, also make sure that your array is also fully fixed reference. Um, on PC, I believe it should be command F4. On MacBook, it's Command 4. I'm using MacBook right here. Okay, so now we we should have a formula that's draggable if I save those changes for this. So let's try this once again. Okay, it's also not working because my lookup... Is it because the lookup array? Yep, it's because I did not fix reference the lookup array. So fix reference everything, okay? Except for those two things that we talked about. And there we have a formula that finally works. And the challenge question, some people, some of my students actually get slightly confused by this because we're now we're skipping years. So how are we gonna do skipping years in a dragging formula? But remember index match is extremely smart. When you put in a new year, it doesn't matter if you're skipping because it's index matching and it's just going to find it for you. Okay, so you just replace it with the variables you want. Nova Scotia. And there you go. You can delete these ones you don't want. There you have a table for that. So today we learned how to use index, match, index match, offset, and offset match. Thank you very much for watching and I hope I helped.